Hello traders and welcome to a video that will be the combination of high block capital and some back tests that they have and of course the bot that I've recently released. This video is definitely going to apply to a lot of quant traders but I think it's also going to be simple enough for traders who wouldn't call themselves quants to understand as well. Let's get started. Alright traders, let's dive into the statistics and the fun. What we're looking at here is I back tested what on average has happened when a long over $1 million has been liquidated on Binance Futures because that's where the, the bot pulls data from. Now this is high block capital and I'm gonna attach a link in the description for that below. On average price rises though when long liquidations occur. After five minutes all the way up to after five hours on average price is higher the only reason that this occurred, I think, after 20 hours uh, to 80 hours on average, uh, price fell, is because in the month of December that this data has been back tested on, we're in a downtrend. And that's why I think that that occurs. But the important part here is how well this is back tested. Now, a strategy that I like to do is I'm going to back test long liquidations, I'm going to back test short liquidations, I'm going to see what on average has happened, and I'm going to use that to determine the inputs that I use to. Um, for my Bitcoin liquidation hunting bot, right? So if we look here, it looks like actually the lowest price point the price has been in the last like 24 hours was actually where it was on a long liquidation uh, of 3.4 mil at 10.21. Now at 10.21 was the actual bottom low at about 17.6. And if you had bought at 17.6, you'd be up around 350 to 400 bucks right now at least 350 bucks if you had bought one Bitcoin. If you bought 10, you know, it'd be up maybe about $4,000 um, within just like a few hours. So it looks like already a strategy that I'm leaning toward is buying any long liquidation over one mil, right? But what I wanna do here uh, is probably, if I was to program that in, this is the way I would do it. Uh, trade size one, of course, you have to set that index to one if you have no other trades. Entry conditions in last one minute, if there is one over a mil. But if there's a liquidation size more than four mil, I actually don't think I want to enter. That might look a little bit weird to people who aren't familiar with, with the bot yet, but this is basically saying I have a tight window of where I'm going to enter long based on because this is a long only strategy that I am uh, optimizing. Now, if there's anything over $4 million worth of liquidations, I actually probably don't want to buy. I mean, you could, it's higher risk, but uh, I'm actually just not going to do that here. X and conditions. Now for determining my X and conditions on a Bitcoin liquidation hunting bot, I want to see, well, take profit on liquidation means if I long, I only take profit when shorts have been liquidated. But the question is, well, how many contracts short liquidated am I going to exit on, right? One mil, 10 mil, 50k. So to get the answer to that, what we're going to do is we're now going to back test short liquidations. Now I'm going to back test short liquidations. You know, let's do anything. Uh, I don't know if anything over one mil is going to give me enough data. Let's do anything over half a half a half a mil. So let's go to that 507. Uh, oh, perfect. 490. 490 works. So if this does back test very well then I probably am going to set um, take profit on any liquidation of other side, i.e. take profit on shorts um, of anything over 500K. But this is not back testing well. This is basically saying that on average, after five minutes, after 15 minutes, that the price continue to rise, which is not what I want to see. Um, yeah, that's, that's just not good. Now let's say we back test the, the big guns here. Um, this is anything over a mil. So now, what we can what we can back test is say hey uh, on any short liquidation over a million dollars now does that back test well now this one does not back test well either and the reason I say that is because on average when these short liquidations occurred price kept rising right so because of this in this strategy that I'm optimizing I do not want to actually use this in this scenario so if I'm doing a long only strategy because I'm already pretty bullish and anything over one million dollars uh, liquidation of long back test well well then maybe I just want to do a fixed one. Just like maybe a 2.5, 2.5, you know? And that could work there too. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm then going to go to back test. I'm gonna click uh, save to save my current trade. Now let's go back test this for the last, let's say seven days. Um, 
I don't think that this back test is going to be great. I think that it probably is going to have some issues because 2.5% take profit, 2.5% stop loss. You might get wicked out. Um, but, you know, we will see. We will live and learn. But, yeah, that's kind of the, the kind of process that I recommend you guys go through. Um, I know that I talked about back testing in a previous video, but I want to take it one step further because my trading approach has really changed to more quantitative and more statistical and more probability based instead of me just saying, hey, I think the market's going to rise by 10 mil. No, that's not what I do, really. What I'm going to do is I look at statistics. I'm going to look at what's happened in the past. Um, and I know a lot of people are going to say past returns does not indicate future success, you know, the, the classic that you hear from uh, traders. It doesn't, but history often rhymes and liquidations are gonna keep happening whether you like them or not. And I think it's a fact of, of, of Bitcoin right now that price tends to bounce off of relatively large liquidations. And that's really the alpha and the edge that I'm taking advantage of. Will it do it every time? No, but that's where risk management comes in and that's where the law of you know good averages comes in. Because this does not look like it's averaging well. This looks like typically when short liquidations occurred, price kept rising, which just isn't good for me. But long liquidations, price tend to fall, which is something that um, I, I can definitely more uh, get behind. All right, let's see what this look. Okay, so yeah, this barely took any trades, but it took one trade and yeah, total trade one. So let's go see where it opened a trade actually. It only took one trade with my exact setup of between one mil and four mil. It says skip, 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 because it took one of these trades. Where are you, buddy? Uh, long liquidation found at, oh, that is not good. <laughs> okay. So yeah, this is not back testing well at all because it bought really bad. Um, this is not back testing well at all because, you know, this is like very picky. But what I'm trying to get it to do is, uh, to buy, you know, upon a long liquidation, such as the one that we saw. Um, trying to get the. Okay, I have to like barely click it without clicking the camera. All right, I guess it's just not going to cooperate. But yeah, so it looks like that back test from Zewatek just did not back test well. But to be honest, most of my back tests have been running from high block. And really, what I'm doing here with the long liquidation is just taking advantage of the fact that really any long liquidation over one mil tends to work pretty well. Now, another thing I wanna show you guys to close this out is you can also trade on sentiment. So let's go look at whenever, uh, let's say Bitcoin sentiment is between absolutely bottom 36% and 50% in the last uh, you know 12 days. I don't know how often it has, maybe it's spiked down there, who knows, um, but we will see. Yeah, so this is great. This is basically saying that 17% of the time it was in this range, but guess what, guys? It rose on every single time frame. When sentiment was that low, it basically rose on every single time frame. So how do I implement that into a system? Well, if I want, I already have an entry condition that is buy me on anything over 100, over $1 million worth of long liquidations. What I'm also gonna do is probably do not long if current LSR is more than, let's say, like one. The reason I say one, and this might be a little bit confusing, is because this is a long percent, but you need to convert that to a ratio. Um, so just long percent divided by short percent. Long percent divided by 100 minus long percent, basically. And that's how you get it into the ratio that you can get it here. Let's put that at one, two, and yeah. So this is a kind of setup that I would do, and really the reason I'm doing this video is because I wanna show you guys, this is just one of the marriages you can make between two platforms. Um, and if you want to go more the quantitative trading approach, then this is really a good beginning. And of course, this bot is free. Um, high block is not free, but I think it's it's definitely worth it. And if you can just go down more of this route, I think that a lot more traders would be successful than if they just traded discretionary and just said, "Hey, I think the market's going to fall short." You know, I think that finding an edge this way is the best way possible. Um, you know, for me, this is just like, "Hey." It might seem simple, just buy liquidation over one mil, any sentiment, any position data that's uh, uh, under a ratio of one, because that's really all it's doing. But something like that might just trade once every two to three days, but when it does take a trade, the expected value of that trade's pretty good for me. Um, because that would tell me that sentiment's quite low, meaning a lot of people are short, 
large liquidation of longs has occurred, meaning we're flushing out retail longs. And as long as you don't get into a large downtrend, which a stop loss would already take care of and you just lose, um, then your profit potential is pretty good, such that I would probably even want to do something maybe like this. Um, you know, 2.55, or you could even get more aggressive if you want. So that's gonna do it for this video. I'm going to link you guys both uh, uh, the bot and how that works as well, and you guys can all pick up the bot for free. Um, as long as you register with the uh, with the FTX code that it wants. And then, of course, I'm also going to link you guys um, HiBlock. Again, final thing I, I will say, I feel like I'm a broken record at this point, but add a quantitative approach. Might seem boring. You might say, seem like, Bennett, you're making me want to like drill my eyes out, you know, watching this video of just math and percentages and waiting for back tests. But this is really, I think, that the how the profitable traders trade. Um, they rely on stuff like this. And if they're relying on it, then I think you probably should be too. Happy trading.